What's going on guys? Whoo! Lone Driver Mike again bringing you another video. Guys, what's up? I know it's been like three weeks, almost a month since I made my last video. So let me just update you guys real quick on what happened. Um, so the car that I was renting from a friend, um, it was stolen. Um, yeah, it was stolen from, from where I live. And uh, I'm not... I was surprised just because I had my DoorDash bag, Grubhub bag, but nothing really important. And then the next day I lost my wallet, so that that messed me up. So anyways, um, yeah, so that really messed me up. I was back on a bike for a little bit, and I was working um, with someone in a car, and, you know, she wasn't coming early enough, you know, so it wasn't working out for us to work together. So anyways, I got the gig, the, it's called gig car share, gig ride, gig car share, gig share car, or whatever, whatever the heck it's called. So basically they're electric. Uh, you can get them right. So it's just a company in California. So, and I don't know if we're allowed to like do deliveries in it. I know for damn sure you're not supposed to do uh, ride share in it because it's, it's yeah, you have to, I mean, with Uber and Lyft, you have to show the registration, the insurance, all that. You know, with, with food delivery, you know, you can pretty much rent any kind of car and do deliveries in it because it's not that bad. You pick up food, you drop it off, you're not dealing with people, and, you know, if you do get an accident, just don't say, oh, I'm delivering food. I mean... I, I'm in a few Facebook groups and I manage a Facebook group. It's called the gig economy and so you know And uh, some people they'll get into an accident and they're like, oh, well I was just doing a Postmates order and I was dropping it off and then this guy hit me, you know you will if your insurance company does not have food delivery it's a delivery um, you got to have rideshare insurance and if you're doing food delivery, there's another, it's, it's, it's only, you know, there's a service. It has to cover food deliveries. And my friend told me the only one that does that, there's only like one or two companies out there that you can get ride share insurance and uh, for food delivery too. One of them is, if I remember right, it's State Farm. So if you want to be, if you want to cover your ass and make sure that you know you want to be covered under the law and all this kind of stuff california's kind of strict but you know food delivery is not that bad you pick it up you drop it off it doesn't matter what you drive if you're on a bike or a scooter or a car or rental it doesn't really matter you know what i mean but if you do get into some kind of accident don't be stupid and be like hey yeah i was doing deliveries and your insurance company is going to drop you like that Unless you have like State Farm. Um, once I get my own car, I'll probably do that because I want to be covered. I don't want no problems. It's going to be a little bit more expensive, but you know, I make good money every day. 200 uh, every day. I made 222 yesterday. I did 11 hours and I did it in the gig car. So it was, it was fine. And it's only $59 a day. Right now, there's a promotion, guys. Usually it's 85 a day and so basically I was able to rent it for so a day they're talking a full 24 hours so you can you can rent it for a full 24 hours so I was able to take it home and everything and return it you know back downtown that's where the home zone is if you return the cars make sure when you end your booking make sure it's in the home zone usually it's downtown uh, the Bay Area I don't know about that area but Sacramento it has to be downtown um, and then you have to make sure you park it in a, it's got to be a legal street parking and it's got to say, the sign has to say one plus hours, uh, whatever, the, that parking is allowed and you're allowed to park there, you won't get a ticket or whatever. And uh, yeah, it's, I did a full day yesterday in it, a full 24 hours. And uh, so yeah, it was $59 a day. So, you know, you're thinking, well, Mike, that's a lot, but not really it's a fair price for fifty nine dollars you know I'm hoping for you know they might lower it down you know because when you start a company and everything you want to price it you want to price it fair at least 
you know what I mean and if you're pricing it high I mean 85 a day you know and if you don't have it for the full day they charge you $15 an hour so up to $85 so once you have it for like six hours you're charged pretty much you're charged for a full day so you might as well just use it the whole day and take it home and you know return it later because either you're gonna you're gonna spend either you're gonna have it for less than six hours if you have it more than six hours you might as well just do the whole the whole day so the 59 includes 24 hours so if you if you if you rent it at 11 a.m. you got to return it before 11 a.m. the next day and if you return it after 11 a.m. I think they start charging you by minute it's like 40 cents a minute or something so that's not too bad so a full 24 hours is fifty nine dollars when you think about it and they're electric so when I get the car on the app it will tell you how many miles the car has for the charge it's not gas it's electric but you know the battery the, the miles and it runs off it runs off the battery so on the screen here and on the app when you download the app the gig gig share app um it'll tell you all the cars in in the area and so the green pins so the blue ones they're like a different price i don't know why but as long as it's a green pin then those are the those are 59 a day there's a promotion until the end of the month and I think they had one last month too so for $59 and the mileage you can drive it the most you can drive it is 250 miles a day so if you're doing like you know you're going 100 miles to the bay and then you're coming back or something then that could work um, but you have to keep it under like 250 miles and once you once when you return it if you rent it in Sacramento you have to return it in Sacramento and there's 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 uh, there's gigs in Sac uh, San Francisco too, San Francisco and I think East Bay like Oakland um, if you rent one from there you have to sorry I had a message you have to return it there you know like you can drive far and come back and then like I said if you drive over 250 miles and then you might have to charge it because the max I've been getting I got one yesterday at 190 today I got this one at this one what had 196 miles so I can run this all day yesterday I it was 190 miles I returned it at 80 miles so I only drove well I drove more I drove more more miles than what it said it's it's battery it's electric so it doesn't you know what I'm saying it, it you know even though you're I drove about 150 miles yesterday in the car but on the screen it said I only drove uh, about 80 miles because it's electric you know and I'm, I'm in town I'm not driving you know far distances and I'm, I'm not pushing on the gas I'm you know and it, it kind of recharges also I believe I'm not sure hundred percent it's a it's a bolt Chevy bolt EV or something so it's electric it kind of charges itself I think um, it's just it's just you gotta you know you don't drive it too crazy too fast too slow you know you just gotta drive it right make sure you're not running the battery and all that and and that's it you know what I'm saying so you can run this all day pretty much and as long as you're not driving like more than 200 miles a day you're gonna keep the full charge I mean I returned it at 80 miles so that was cool and like if if you run it all the way down and you want to recharge it you have to call them and it's, it's very simple and I don't know where you charge them downtown Sacramento they have a few charging for electric cars so you can charge it but it's free like it's free you don't have to pay for it so the charging is free you're not gonna need to charge it because if you get it even at a hundred miles and if you're doing like little errands but if you want to do food delivery in it then yeah you'd have to get it at like you, you want to get it you know closer to 200 miles just in case but like I said I only drove on the on the on the screen it said I only drove about 80 miles no wait more than 80 90 190 and then uh, I returned it so I on the screen it said I drove about 110 miles but on this screen it said I I drove it actual miles I drove it about a hundred maybe 140 50 miles I'm not sure but I did drive it home I returned it went back into the home zone returned it and all that 
and I got my receipt and it was $59 exactly. So for a full 24 hours, for a full 24 hours, it's only 59 bucks. So that's not bad. But yeah, as long as you, and like I said, the app tells you where all the cars are at and how, you know, how many miles it has left on the car. So if you're just using it real quick, going to the store, dropping off, picking up some groceries, you know, you can snag one for 50 miles or 60 miles. You know, you're not going to, you know, you're not going to use it that long. But if you're using it for all day, if you use it more than six hours, they're going to charge you the daily rate, which is $59 right now in Sacramento. So if you're going to have it more than six hours, you might as well use it the whole day. Just use it a full 24 hours and return it the next day. Because, you know, you want to get your money's worth. If you're if you're paying 59 bucks and that's for a daily rate, and you know, use it for, once you use it for six hours, like I said, you're automatically charged for the daily rate. So if you're using it just real quick, you know, it's going to be less money, but, you know, but yeah, it's, it's really how you want to use it. I mean, it's it's great. The AC works, radio. Um, uh, I noticed that if you know if you're about to hit something or or you know there's oncoming traffic or even when there's pedestrians trying to cross a road, it'll tell you. I mean, it's it's really cool. I mean, this thing is hooked up. It's censored. It's monitored. So and then like I said, if there's any problems with it, like this car was a little bit dirty, kind of dusty inside, outside. And then the little uh, RFID chip on the window, it kind of fell off. It was already like that. So I'm like, I don't want to get charged. So I called them, made a report. She said, okay, thanks for letting us know. So they just, they're just, they said, that once you're done with it, then we'll just clean it up and then that's it. And then she said, well, you won't be charged for it. Don't worry about it. Because it kind of smells a little bit like, I don't know if it's smoke, but it doesn't smell too good maybe the last the last dude that used it smoked a little bit but i'm not sure it smells a little it's a little bit dusty you know but anyways yeah so this is where i'm at right now i'm i'm using the gig car 59 bucks a day guys i mean not bad i mean if and that includes your insurance it's already insured you get pulled over the insurance is in the thing say oh you know here's my app you can show the officer your app you know i like this is the this is the car i'm renting here's the insurance here's the paperwork and that's it. I mean, it's it's a done deal. Like, and uh, what else? Yeah. So insurance is included, maintenance. So like, you know, if you have if you own your own car, you're gonna have to brakes down, uh, windshield brakes or whatever. Then you got to put gas in it. I mean, insurance costs a lot. You know, full coverage is like 100 to 200 dollars a month. Um, tires, you got to get new tires every freaking like especially when you drive like me you got to get it every you know every few months new tires and shit and so it, it's almost not even worth owning your own car because especially if you do uber or lyft or um ride share you know ride share food delivery doordash grubhub it's almost not worth owning your own car like it might be slightly cheaper but when you add up the expenses like car repairs new tires you know, if someone throws up in the car, if you spill food, soup, you got to clean that out. It's just better just to rent. And I'm renting this daily 59 bucks, and that includes everything. I don't have to do nothing. I don't have to wash the car. I don't have to. I, mean, I got to make sure the inside's clean. But if it gets a little dusty, you know, it's fine. But when I got this car, it was dust everywhere. And, you know, so I just made a report just letting them know, like, I don't want to get charged. And that's it. And so I don't have to do nothing. No gas, no insurance, no maintenance, no car, no repairs, no breakdowns, no nothing. And if it does break down, I think what they do is they just give you a new car. They say, oh, go to this one or whatever. And then you switch it out. You don't get charged extra. $59 every day for a 24-hour period. Or you just want to use it for a few hours, then there you go. And then they have per minute. So they, they charge you the cheapest rate. You know what I'm saying? So if you use it for a few minutes or a couple hours, they charge you for the lowest amount. You know what I mean? So yeah, I I like it. It's really cool. Um, I made 222 yesterday, uh, food delivery, and yeah, I mean I do DoorDash, Grubhub, uh, Caviar. So yeah, I like it. I like electric. I mean, you know, it's environmentally friendly. 
you know what I mean so no gas no pollution um, AC works oh am I still recording oh sorry it says my phone was hot it's a hundred and it's a hundred hundred today yesterday and tomorrow is like a hundred and four or five man it's hot so that's why I'm like dude I can't be riding a bike so I'm like, no, nah, I'm doing the gig thing. So yesterday it worked out great. Um, returned it this morning, charged 59 bucks for 24 hours, and I did my food delivery, made my money, paid for it, and it's cool. You pay every day, you know. You so you make sure you have the 59 dollars, but they only charge you. Okay, so here's the thing: they only charge you once you return it. So they do a what is it called pre-authorization. So when you reserve the car, they charge you 15 dollars. But I bank with Chime, and I get that back right away. They're all Gig Shares doing is making sure that you have money in your account. They want to make sure that you're going to pay for it or whatever. So they're strict on that. So you just make sure you have, you know, at least a hundred bucks in there just in case. Um, and so my first day, they charged me. I think an hour later, they ended up taking out fifty, and then they put it back right away. Cause like I went back to my account. And it said they didn't take money out. But I got a notification that they did take out $15. As soon as you reserve a car, they take out $15 exactly. And then they usually put it back right away unless you bank with another bank. I don't know how their banks work, but I, I work with Chime. Guys, Chime is awesome. Um, no overdraft fees. No bank fees. No nothing. You know, if I go negative, they don't charge me extra. Um, there's no monthly fees. It's it's great. I love it. So I'll put my chime. I'll put my chime link below. Also, I'll put my uh, yeah. And if you use my gig car share link, you get twenty five dollars off your first. So you get like I think an hour and a half, maybe two hours for free. So you know what? Try it out. Maybe you'll like it. And then um, if you enjoy it, you can share your code with others, and you can get a free ride next time or a few couple hours off. You know, say, oh, I need to run errands. Say your, your husband's at work or the wife's at, at work. She took the car. You know, you want to get out. You know, use my code and you get a couple hours. You know, use it. Go to the gym. Go to the casino. Uh, go run errands. Do laundry. Uh, pick up groceries. It's awesome. It's a really cool car. It's, you know, it's it's really small. Um, there's a trunk, back seat. It's, I love it. You can connect your phone. Uh, Bluetooth and everything. Oh, I, before I end this video, I gotta let you know how to how to unlock. I'm gonna do a step by step video tomorrow, so just so just so you guys can see how it goes. It's not that difficult. So once you reserve the car, you unlock the car with your phone. You lock it and unlock it with your phone, and then to start it, you step on the step on the brake, and you press the start button at the same time. That's how it starts. And then when you leave, make sure you turn it off. One time I forgot to turn off the car. I'm like, oh, shoot. So you got to turn off the car, leave, lock it. You can lock it. You can press the lock button right here, or you can just lock it on your phone. But to get back into the car, you have to unlock it with your phone. So you got to make sure your Bluetooth is on. Your, you got to make sure your Bluetooth settings is on. So just have that on. It'll connect. And that's it. So it's really cool. It's in Sacramento. It's in the Bay Area. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm going to be in the gig car for the next, I don't know how long. I really like it. I mean, some of you guys think I'm, I'm, I'm getting ripped off and, well, $59 a day. I mean, you think about it. It's like $400 a week, but that includes everything. Gas. I mean, just in gas, you can spend $1,000 in a month just in gas. That's what I was spending before. So that's a lot of money. Then you got insurance, and then say your car breaks down, you got to fix it up. Your tires, fuck, new tires. Oh, something hit my windshield. I got to fix that. I mean, I'm telling you guys, um, I, I don't even want to own a car. I mean, maybe when I get enough money saved up, but I really, if I get a car, it's going to be a new car. It's going to be brand new. There's nothing wrong with it. Everything brand new. Make sure the reviews are good. Uh, maybe it'll be a year or two old, you know. But, you know, it's not even worth owning your own car nowadays, man. It's so much fees. 
and then you got the DMV fees. You got to renew your car every year. Uh, you got to smog it every two years. You got to do registration every year. Some of the registration is like two hundred dollars a year. Um, older cars, it's like about a hundred, and it's just a lot of money, man. It all adds up. It really adds up. So I'm just like shit. If I can just rent this for like sixty bucks a day and make my money and do my errands and then return it because like I said you can't go over 250 miles in a day and then if if you get too low on your on your miles if the battery runs too low you know and the mile says zero then they charge you they charge you so make sure when you return it it doesn't say zero so you might as well just use it by day you know return it and if you still need the car you just get back on the app and reserve a new one and make sure it's got a lot of miles it'll tell you how many miles it has available on the car on the charge and that's it that's all you got to do so it's great guys so anyways please like comment subscribe share the video uh, gig gig car share in Sacramento Bay Area I approve it's awesome insurance gas maintenance everything's included in the $59 price uh, Bay Area is $10 more so it's 69 a day um, it's a little bit more expensive over there, so that makes sense. But anyways, guys, that's it. That's all I've got to say. So I'm going to put my links below. I'm going to put my Chime link below. And like I said, the reason why I like Chime is because there's no bank fees. There's no bank fees. There's no... And I get paid sooner. Like with Grubhub, I get paid... When I had Bank of America, they paid me like two Wednesdays and Thursdays. Um, with Chime, I get paid Mondays and Tuesdays. I get like a day or two or three. I get like two or three days early with Chime. I get paid early, guys. It's awesome. And then the other thing is I don't get, I don't have to worry about uh, bank fees, overdraft fees, uh, monthly fees, no kind of fees. They don't charge me nothing. So it's awesome. And then this ride share, this gig gig share, it's, it's awesome, man. I love it. It's, it's electric, got AC radio works got plenty of space storage it's great so anyways guys i'm gonna put my links below and i uh, hope you guys are having a good day and that's it guys that's all i've got to say all right guys thanks for thanks for your support thanks for sharing my video thanks for like liking my video also and uh make sure you subscribe and that's it guys all right peace out and see ya